The Sleeping Beauty is a very important ballet for big ballet companies. Uh, it is one of the first big classical ballets that became very popular. It has a wonderful score by Tchaikovsky. Uh, and it's a story that everybody knows. Every little child, every little girl wants to have been the princess who's kissed awake. So I think that it's a, a historic and, and very uh, touching folk story for many countries around the world. Uh, Sleeping Beauty is an important ballet in the history of ballet because it sent a, a set a benchmark for very difficult classical uh, roles, especially for the females in all the fairy variations and Aurora's material, uh, are, are pieces that, of dance that have been passed from generation to generation and have really stayed very much concrete to what they were. Uh, the speeds have changed, the arms may change, but the steps are very much the same and I, I, that's very important for us to dance something that is still today as difficult as it was for the ballerinas that first danced those roles. The story of Sleeping Beauty is a very well-known fairy story. Uh, a young princess is born and the fairies, uh, an evil fairy, Carabos, feels slighted for not being invited to her christening by the lilac fairy, so she puts a curse on Aurora and she says on her 16th birthday she'll be pricked, her finger will be pricked and she'll fall asleep for a hundred years and nothing will awake her. But the lilac fairy uh, changes this spell a little bit by putting a clause onto it that says that she will be awoken when her true love one day kisses her. And then we jump a hundred years forward into the story after Aurora has fallen asleep and the kingdom has been covered in roses and a hundred years have passed. And then her prince finds her, he is drawn to her magically by true love, by the fairies. And he kisses her and they awake and they live happily ever after. Uh, the interesting thing about Sleeping Beauty is the actual story doesn't really stop there. There is a whole sequel to it in the, in the folk story side. But that's the part that the ballet deals with. In Sleeping Beauty, the, one of the great things about the ballet is the diversity of roles. You have so many uh, wonderful variations to dance in both the prologue and the third act, and uh, it gives a lot of opportunity for women in particular to dance, from Bluebird to the fairies to uh, even Puss in Boots. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, different characters. I think one of the reasons that Sleeping Beauty is around today is clearly from the music. It is such a tremendous piece of music. The ballet is based on a story that everyone in every culture has sort of heard of, whether they know the specifics or whether it's exactly the same, the characters' names change. But the idea of, of someone sleeping through this period of their life and being awoken by true love is not an uncommon thing.